Well, happy Movember, everybody. I am Jay Leonard J, and today we are looking at the Tumnus Deluxe by Wampler Pedals. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be honest with all you guys. I am a huge fan of the Claw and Centaur. I'm one of those guys. Uh, I've had one for many, many years. Actually, I've had a couple. Uh, that one of the things that took me by surprise is when I saw the original Tumnus pedal come out. And that was really cool because it was the same tone, the same feel, only in this tiny little pedal. And I didn't have to worry about it getting stolen at the end of the gig. Well, Wampler just released a brand new one. This is the Tumnus Deluxe. And buddy, this thing has all the tones of the original plus a couple cool extra features. What they've added for this deluxe version is an active bass and mids control. If you keep them at noon, you pretty much got the same response as the old pedal, but being able to shape all your tones, oh, that comes in very, very handy. On top of that, you have a switchable buffer, so you can keep the buffer on or turn it off, as well as a really funky hot switch, which you can do if you want to just push that Klon saturation to the limit. Well, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of show you my go-to Tumnus sounds, and then I'm also going to show you three sounds you could only get with the Tumnus Deluxe. So let's cut the babble. I'm going through a Fender Telecaster with Virgil Arlo pickups and String Joy strings, and I'm plugging it into a Benson Chimera 212. So let's plug this thing in and see if this font has any bite. Well, one thing I loved about the original Tumnus is that it has a fantastic clean boost tone. And the way we got that is just by turning off the gain and then just by kind of backing off the trebles a little bit. It's very true to your clean boost tone, but just maybe just adds a slight amount of velvetiness and uh, maybe hide some of the, the nastier kind of things that you hear in a guitar tone. So let's hear what that sounds like. First, let's hear what the pedal sounds like with the, the Tumnus uh, buffer disactivated. <laughs> This is with the buffer on. And last but not least, let's turn this pedal on. Great for uh, soloistic stuff or jazz stuff. Great, great sounding thing. Uh, once you start adding a little bit of that gain, blending in the gain with the clean tone, uh, I found that kind of on the lower echelon of it, um, having everything stocked, there was just maybe a little bit uh, too much mid. It sounds great if your amp's crank, but maybe for a cleaner amp, uh, might be a little bit too much, but that's where this active control comes in. Uh, by dipping the mids a little bit, you just kind of smooth everything out, make everything sound just a little bit more natural while still retaining all the nice qualities that we love of the Tumnus pedal in itself. Let's check it out.
The fun of the tumness really is when you get that perfect ratio of distorted tone and clean tone. That perfect ratio where you can actually hear the nice saturation characteristics plus the naturalness of your own home tone. And I found it was always right around here. I like it there. And you could bump up the trebles a little bit. Uh, and let's hear what that kind of stock sound sounds like. Just gorgeous, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> now, if you want to get even hotter, a little bit more nasty, what you have available to yourself is this little hot switch. And what that hot switch is going to do is it's really just going to mean up your tone in a fantastic way, give you a little bit more sustain, a little bit more saturation to hold on to. But the cool thing is, because it's blended in, you still get all of that lovely clean, that all that lovely true tone, only just a little bit more nastiness on the other side. Very, very fun when you keep that balance together. Even though these kind of pedals are known really for their great overdrive and clean boost characteristics, I love the gain sound on it. I actually think it sounds just like a really mean and awesome kind of treble booster sound with a lot more control. Uh, very, very forward and very, very in your face. Let's hear what that sounds like here. Oh. <laughs> Very, very awesome. Uh, it has that distinct claw and mids that is just so present, a little bit nasally, but in the good 70s kind of way. And if you want to take things to the extreme, try cranking those mids, really making them stick right out. And what you get is even more of that treble booster kind of sound, only it's the kind of treble booster that you can really shape the sound on. So that way you're not just stuck using it with like Vox style amps, you could use it with your blackface amps, your mid scooped amps, and really just have a killer forward lead 70s tone that you've only dreamed of. <laughs> Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please keep commenting and please keep subscribing. I really love to hear your input. Uh, maybe lay off the mustache jokes um, because I'm really sensitive about that, okay? <sighs> so my question for all those subscribers out there today is, uh, between the deluxe and the regular version, which one 
pulls you a little bit more? Which one do you see yourself adding to your rig? And maybe as a last bonus question, how many of the songs that I played today can you actually identify? I've always kind of wondered stuff like that. So uh, that being said, uh, thank you so much. I'll see you guys all soon. Take care and goodbye.